Hi everyone and welcome to today's craft video. I hope you're all well and having a wonderful week. If you're new here and you like what you see, it'd be fantastic if you could subscribe to my channel and leave a like and feel free to leave a comment. If you're returning as always, welcome back my friends. I hope you're well and thank you for your continued support as always. So for today's project, I made this wall hanging for my bathroom door frame and I'll show you how I made it. So there's going to be a different, a few different things that I'm going to be using today, but the main things I'm going to be using are some A4 white card. I'm using an old cardboard box as well, just for the top section of the display. Then I've got these like vinyl um, placemats that I'm going to use. These are in gold. I got them from a charity shop. I paid a pound for them. So I'm going to use them for the center of the hearts. The hearts that I made are actually from coasters that I got from Poundland. You get four in a pack and these are black and white stripe ones. They're the cork base ones and this is what I used for the hearts. I'm also using a mixture of ribbon. I ended up going for the glittery sparkly one in the end and I'm using some of the stickers that are from Poundland as well. And then you'll also need a mixture of leaves and flowers if you're choosing it in the colours that you want. You'll need a glue gun a pair of tweezers a pair of scissors a pen and a ruler as well and yeah let's get into the video guys so I'm going to speed up the video quite a lot because it is quite a long video and there's loads of different sections but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace around one of the coasters and then this is going to be used for our template for our heart so I'm just using a pen to do that cutting it out and then I'm going to fold this in half to get our heart shape so I'm just going to fold this in half and then take a pair of scissors and cut out half a heart and then when we open it up we'll have our template for our heart like so. So I used four coasters in the end for this project. I did buy two packs, but I've still got four left. And I'm just going to trace around our template now on all four of the coasters. And then you could use a different, you could use a mixture of things to cut out the heart. I actually just used a pair of scissors. Um, they were fine. It took a little bit of work but it did work with a pair of scissors so that's what I used you might have some kind of tool that will be easier to cut through this but yeah I just used some scissors and worked my way around so now that I've cut out the four hearts I'm now going to go around the edging using some pearl garland and this I get from Poundland I forgot to add it at the beginning of the video but I'm going to start at the bottom of the heart and work my way around the edge just using some hot glue to glue it in place and I'm going to do that with all of the hearts that I've cut out. So I've gone round the hearts with the pearl garland and now I'm going to sort out the centres using the table mats and I'm going to take the heart that we used as a template to start off with at the beginning and I'm just going to fold it again and I'm going to make a cut out a small heart from the centre and then this is going to be the template for the centre of our hearts. So originally I was only going to do this on two of the hearts and then do something different with the other two but in the end I did the same for all four. So I'm just going to trace around our new template with a pen and cut out four hearts and then I'm just going to glue them into the centre of our coasters. like so. Now all four are stuck in place we can get on to the next section and I'm going to add some of the butterfly decorations, the stickers that I got from Poundland and I'm going to use the these different ones, these ones that are a paler um, green and then these ones that are a darker green. I use the darker green ones and I'm just going to pop one of them on 
the side of each of the hearts i only did two to start off with and then later on decided i wanted to do all four so on two of them i had them on the left hand side and then on the other two i had them on the right hand side so they alternated so I've been looking at the ribbon and I do like the way it looks with the burlap ribbon and the lace but to make it match my bathroom I'm going to go with the gold glittery one and this was from Poundland in the Christmas section it's what I had left over from Christmas and I've just left about seven inches seven or eight inches gap at the top and I'm going to start to glue our hearts in place so you'll need something to cover the table and I'm just going to put a decent amount of glue on the back of the heart and then I'm going to stick this down but because the ribbon has holes in it the glue is going to go straight through to the paper so you need to lift it up before it dries and then I'm just going to secure the edges with some more glue and just use some tweezers to press it down into place. Like so so i'm gonna leave quite a large gap because i'm gonna add some flowers obviously if you want yours to be smaller then you can leave a smaller gap but i'm gonna leave about eight inches between the two and it's gonna i'm just gonna do it from the corner of each heart and i'm just using the ruler as a rough guide um i'm not too fussed about it being spot on but yeah i'm just using the ruler at the side for a guide and i'm gonna do exactly the same add a load of glue to the back of the heart Stick it down on the ribbon, lift it up and then turn it over and stick the rest of the ribbon in place. I'm going to do exactly the same with the other two hearts and I will be back once that's done. So the hearts are now stuck down and I'm really happy with how it's looking but I'm going to add some flowers and leaves in between the hearts. So I've just got a 5 centimeter spool that's empty from some ribbon and I'm going to use that as a template and I'm just going to draw three circles and cut them out. And this is going to be what we stick the flowers to. So I'm not sticking them down for now, I'm just placing them so I kind of have a rough idea what they look like. But I'm going to take these leaves that are in three, in a set of three and I'm going to cut them so that they're single. And then I'm going to start with some longer ones first. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing on each of the three pieces of card that we've cut out. So that they all match. So I always start off with my longer pieces of flowers or leaves that I'm using and then work my way into the centre. So now in between the gaps that we have just made with the leaves that we put in place, I'm going to use some of the darker leaves. And then to hide the rest of the card, I've got some smaller green leaves and I'm just going to pop three on each side. And then do the same on the other side as well. So now I've done them to all three, this is where I decided that I was going to add the other butterflies onto the right hand side of the hearts that we missed before. And then we can get back on to finishing the flowers. So I've got some white roses, I'm going to pop one on each side, or each piece of card even, sorry. And I'm going to alternate, I'm going to have some facing the left hand side and then some facing the right hand side. 
and then just to finish these off i'm gonna add a white blossom to hide where we glued the rose in place and then a few bits of gypsy grass on either side of the rows. And then I'm gonna do the same with the other two and finish them off and then I'm gonna glue them in between the hearts in exactly the same way as we did the hearts. So now I'm going to do the top. So I've got a piece of cardboard from the cardboard box and I actually measured mine six centimetres by 20 centimetres and then I just cut this out with a pair of scissors and this is what we're going to use for the base for the top so I'm going to do it pretty much exactly the same as what I did with the small pieces of cardboard that we've just done and I'm going to start by using the longer pieces first and just putting a few around the edges And then I decided I was going to add just a few more pieces at the top, in the middle. Like so. And then I decided that I wanted to add some of the smaller leaves that I used on the circle bits of card but instead of cutting them into individual leaves I decided that I was going to leave them on the stem and just glue a few around just to fill in some of the gaps And then once I was happy with that, I could start to add the darker green leaves. So I'm going to start at the top in the middle and I'm going to place one in the center. And then one either side. And we're just basically trying to cover the cardboard. And then I'm going to do exactly the same in the center below and then I'm going to do the same on the sides as well so now I've done the top and the bottom and the two sides I'm going to just fill in the bits around the edge And then I decided to add some ribbon. So I'm just cutting it to a point. And I used four pieces. That was what I had left. And then I'm just going to glue them in place. Two at the bottom and two at the top. Thank you. 
and this was just to tie it in with the rest of the hearts and ribbon that we put in place. And then to finish off, I'm just going to pop some more of the dark green leaves. And then I didn't have any more of the white roses, but I did have some of the blossoms so i'm going to pop a few of the white blossoms and then i also cut out another um heart out of the placemat and i'm going to use that in the center And then just I'm going to add some of the gypsy grass around the blossoms. And then to finish it off, I decided to add one of the butterflies at the top, just above the heart, and then stick one blossom underneath the heart just to hide the space that was there. And now I'm going to glue this to the top of the hearts and yeah, I'm going to pop it in the bathroom so you can see what it looks like. And here it is. I absolutely love it. I'm so over the moon with it. I've got it on the side of my door frame in the bathroom. And yeah, um, I really, really like it. I'm so chuffed with the with the hearts um, from the coasters. I knew when I saw them in Poundland that I was going to do something with them and they were probably going to be hearts. But yeah, that's next to my birdcage and my display case. And then obviously I've got my reef on the back of the door and my wall sconce. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to, underneath these, I've got a plan for a project, but it's quite a big project. So it's going to take me a while. So I need to get around to doing that. But I'm really happy with how it's come out, guys. I will see you tomorrow for a Poundland haul. Take care for now. Bye.